Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Plan B Terraform. And look how long that train is. Blooming hell, that's long. Anyway, imagine an automated game based on hexagon tiles where you can build around an entire planet, which you're terraforming as well. This is what we have here. So let's get into it. Let's start a new planet. And I guess we'll just randomize these until... Nice, Engertopia, that sounds perfect. So this is the planet we are currently occupying and we're gonna terraform it from the Mars looking planet that it is into a lovely green habitat. Now if we zoom out, like literally we have the entire planet here and there's even polar caps and stuff. Anyway, let's get, let's get into doing what the game actually wants me to do. So this is gonna be our new city. It's called New Shenzhen. And uh, first off, we've gotta find some iron. So if we zoom out, iron is sort of the brownie colored stuff. Ooh, look at that lovely iron. And we can click on each tile and it tells us how much iron there is in each of those. So what we're going to do, we're going to extract this. So if we come up to the industry tab on the left, build an extractor. We can shove one of those on the iron and boosh, there it is, extracting away. Now we need to move the iron from there to somewhere else. So if we build one of these, a depot, now we can place that next to it, tell it to store door iron and then look there's iron floating via drones over to our depot nice and next up we probably want to build a factory so we can make something with all that iron we're collecting so we'll do that we'll bung that next to the depot and then we'll say yeah make some steel bars please so now the drone is taking the iron from there to the factory and what do we want to do with those steel bars well we want to put them in another depot of course so we'll Plonk that behind it, say store steel bars, and then like we've made like a chain. But the chain doesn't stop there because we can use the steel bars in an assembly plant. And that costs three mechanical parts to make this. Now, can you imagine what we're going to be making with this? Well, it's other buildings. So we can make an extractor or a depot. So we probably want to make more extractors so we can, well, extract the iron faster, of course. So since we're building extractors, we're going to build loads more. We got five already. So let's shove a few of these down. And what you'll notice is these depots they've got to be touching so this one here is too far away from the depot um, at least for now I mean later on we can get like roads and other transport things but yeah for now we'll try and surround that so we've at least got three kicking into that and then we'll probably do another one down here somewhere so I'll tell you what I'll do the chain already so you can see this one on the right because we've placed it further back we can fit way more extractors around it uh, which essentially means it's working a lot faster whereas this one it's only got three extractors not as efficient so perhaps we'll move all of these back a bit so there we go two very efficient steel bar plants um, which are both making extractors for now and whilst that was happened we leveled up that is because we did the objective which was to get 10 extractors down the next objective is to build five factories and that will level us up to the next level again and the ultimate aim is to get a million population ours is just nine at the moment um, and ultimately terraform the planet as well uh, so when we leveled up then you can see we've unlocked mechanical parts factories and assembly plants uh, which means we can build all of those now so we got those building extractors i think i'm gonna place another five down like that depot in the middle collecting the iron and we got the factory down and mechanical parts we can see that takes steel bars to create so we're gonna need two factories in a row so that means one of these we're gonna have to change from making extractors to making factories so that would be this one here so then this thing can store the mechanical parts wait no 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 because i've just i've just realized this assembly part in order to make a factory it needs mechanical parts which we're not making yet so i actually i think i need to delete that and then after this one, so we're storing steel bars there. We then go to a factory again. And then that one can make mechanical parts out of steel bars. So you can see the drone is moving all of that into there. So this is making mechanical parts. So then we put a depot to store mechanical parts. And then an assembly plant to create either a factory or another assembly plant. I'm guessing a factory is probably the most useful at this point. All right, so we've made a couple of factories already. Now, what I can see here, we're actually storing quite a few of these steel bars. So can I put another factory like next to that and say make more mechanical parts? Yeah, so then they're getting stored two different ways. So I think that's good. I just need, I need another depot. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna temporarily delete those ones just so I can say store more mechanical parts. Oh, actually, oh, I can store 
hold them all in the same one. Okay, so yeah, I'll delete that one. And then we'll shove the assembly plant at the end, making factories. Right, so next up, I can, I've got, I got loads of buildings now. So I can rebuild what I had down here. So you go there, store the steel bars that we're making. And then behind that, I'm going to assemble some depots so I can expand. Because look, I'm completely, I'm out of depots. We're on zero there. Uh, we're also out of assembly plants as well. So I could, when we have a few more going on, I could probably build a few more of those. But let's get another factory there. We'll say make mechanical parts. And then we've got another depot we can shove behind it, storing the mechanical parts. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So we've got another chain there. We just need to get another assembly thing at the end. But for now, because we've built our five factories, we've leveled up again. Level three. So next objective is reach a population of 10 in our biggest city. Um, and in order to do that, we need to send resources to our city. So if you remember, our city was over this way, wasn't it? It's just that little thing. And the city population is just three down there. <gasps> so basically what we need to do is send them resources. And thankfully, we've just unlocked loads of things like roads and trucks, as well as concrete and a supply center. And the supply center is the important one for growing those cities. As you can see there, we got to supply cities with the resources it needs to grow. And that needs four concrete and concrete needs sulfur. So we got to go on a bit of a mission, try and find some sulfur. Now, I assume this yellow stuff. Yeah, sulfur. So we'll do the same thing as before. We'll do our little hexagon thing like that with a depot in the middle. And there you say collect sulfur. Then we need that to go to a factory and we'll say make concrete in that factory. And then another depot to collect the concrete. And then we need an assembly plant, which we don't have any of. So we've got to go back to this area. And I think for now, I'll delete that assembly plant. Wang it up here. Say build more assembly plants. You're one of those buildings that can make itself. So we'll fast forward through time a little bit because I want to get to a point where I've got a couple of assembly plants right there we go. So one at the end here. We'll put you back on extractors because I then I think I need to I need to get at least one more down making the depots. And then I'm sort of always making one of these buildings. Yeah, so that will be good for growing. So let's surround that depot, then a factory, then another depot, then an assembly plant. And that one's making depots. So now we've got a system here where we've got one assembly plant making one of these buildings each. So that's good. That means we can actually go and do the sulfur stuff. So we basically want assembly plant and we'll say make supply centers. And then depending on how quickly this gets through concrete, might be worth using that up because there's quite a stack there. So I think we'll build another assembly plant next to this. And in this one, we'll say build some roads, please. And you can see there we get four roads for each bit of concrete. So that is decent. But right, unfortunately, that has actually rinsed our concrete. So I think I'm actually going to remove the road one and probably do that in a separate one. So we'll build a circle of extractors, depot in the middle, and then assembly plant at the end making the roads. Okay, so I think that's better balanced. Uh, I feel like I probably want more extractors, to be honest. So let's head back down to the iron and then we'll just we'll just literally make more extractors. So shove those in a circle again. Factory making steel bars and then assembly plant making extractors. So we've doubled our extractor production, which is good because we're completely out of extractors. I feel like we're making like way too many factories and assembly plants. We sort of need we need more depots and extractors. So as we make more extractors, I am just going to keep plonking them down. All right, so I've just tripled the number of extractors we're making. I will do one more for depots, I think. So now we're making twice as many depots as well. Decent. Okay, we're expanding at a rapid rate, which means we can finally get this sulfur and concrete stuff going. Uh, oh, and look, we've actually, we've built 11 supply centers. All right, so I've come over to the city and I've built the supply center next to it. Now it says it needs concrete. So I'm guessing what we need down here is a depot depot taking concrete. So there's now concrete being made here. Now, in order to get these onto roads, now we actually need to build these first, the road stop. So where we are making roads, I can see we've got loads of concrete saved up. So I'm going to shove another factory next to that. And I'm going to say make road stops. So this arm's sort of making my road stuff. This arm's making the supply thing. I don't actually need so many supply things, I don't think. We've got 14 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still right. So now we have our road stop. I think, can I just shove that like there? And then do I do a road from it? So I can literally, I can build a road all the way down to here like that. There's our road in. Oh, and it is connected that end. Okay, that's good. Then down this end, I just need another truck stop. So we'll shove that there. And then I think trucks will stop there. The drone will 
carry stuff and then that should work. Yeah, but first, we obviously, we actually need trucks. Now, trucks are made from mechanical parts. So if we head, I was going to say down here, I'll tell you what, I might leave that one on its own. Let's find another bit of iron to do this. Yeah, maybe up there. So we're going to use these to make the mechanical parts that we need. So first off, it's iron and a factory to make steel and another depot to collect the steel and then another factory to make mechanical parts. Now remember, that's quite a slow process, so we can put two of those in. Then another depot to take all of those mechanical parts and then an assembly plant at the end to make the trucks. We are just about to make our first truck. OK, we've made a truck. So do we now build a road stop? So if we go over this way, then into there. No, that hasn't done anything. Uh, oh, these stops, I can. I have to set the origin. OK, I think I've done it. So I've, I've told trucks to come down here and I can say take concrete bars. So, oh, look, there's the trucks. There's a truck. Oh, I can just wang up the trucks. OK, that's good. Uh, so basically all that road was useless. I'll tell you what, then I might delete it. We're going to try and stay tidy on this planet. So that is good, though. Trucks are delivering concrete to here. And then is new Shezen, is it happy or is it not happy? Yes, status growing. City supply, good. Oh, and look, we're up to 10 people. Okay, we got 10 population. Only 999,900... 90 to go. Am I definitely? I need more trucks though. Let's keep adding trucks. That's it. Stack up with all that concrete because there's so much concrete being stored. We just need more trucks. It's such a small space. Like I was going to go around the entire planet with a road, but uh, <laughs> could take ages. Oh, fine. Fine, I will. So if we go around the equator, we can see how many roads. Okay, so we. <laughs> We could only get to there with the amount of roads we got. We've got to go all the way around. Oh man, the game doesn't like this. So I think it's trying to find the best route because there's like mountains and stuff in the way. That's quite cool. Yeah, but yeah, essentially we're going to need a hell of a lot more concrete. Now, thankfully, look, we've got 61 extractors. So it will make a load more roads. And would you look at that? We've leveled up to level four. So we've got to get a population of 100 in our biggest city. Yeah, and bigger cities require new resources. Well, we've just unlocked a load of new resources. Um, it's worth noting, though, we've spent 10 years on this. 10 years! And this is all we've got to show for it. Anyway, oh, what are they? Look, the city's literally expanded. So, question game, what do you actually want? If I put another supply center down... Okay, so that one wants concrete as well. Oh, okay, so both these supply centers, they want O2 as well. Now, since we had concrete stacked up, I think having two of them is a good idea. But it might only be stacked up because it's not using it because we're not making O2. So, in order to make O2, I'm going to guess we need an atmospheric extractor. So that needs mechanical parts and aluminium bars. So I guess we need to find aluminium or aluminum, as some of you crazy Americans might say. I assume, is that you? Yeah, aluminium. I mean, it's literally, you're missing an eye there, Dev. Developer, you've spelt it wrong. And um, because I need the uh, mechanical parts, I'm going to have a little look. Is there one that's near? No, not really. I was hoping there's going to be one near an iron thing. I mean, I guess we can just do it from that one or maybe the one up there. So first off, let's extract some of this aluminium. That goes into there. And then I assume we want a factory to make aluminium bars and a depot to store them. And then can I assemble anything with aluminium? No, I need the mechanical parts first. Okay, so let's delete that. And then we'll do a road stop there. And then we'll take a road road somewhere. I mean, to be honest, probably worth just coming up to this one up here, sort of on its own. So we'll go to there. Sort of looks like it's been architectured. Um, <laughs> maybe the engineer was sick that day. Definitely looks like a Friday afternoon job, that one. Anyway, we'll make the steel bars first, then the mechanical parts, and then we'll take them on the road. And we can add like, I don't know, 10 trucks to that. I've shoved a depot there with the mechanical parts in. So then I guess we can assembly plant in the middle, making atmosphere ferric extractors and oh my goodness i feel like at a certain angle that would look very efficient anyway so if we shove one of these down we can say take the o2 that this is producing once the mechanical parts arrived where are the trucks where are the trucks? They're all up here. It's because it hasn't taken the mechanical parts. So there we go. Mechanical parts being loaded on. And then they are driving along the treacherous road. Very brave truckers these are. And then down here they arrive and the... The mechanical parts come off, go into the factory where we're finally making O2. All it took was about two years. <laughs> yeah, so next up, we're going to need a road stop 
there. And then we're going to drive a road uh, down to there, basically. That's that sorted. We probably need quite a few trucks on there. I'll shove another 10 on. Say, take O2. Oh, but then I'm an idiot because I've just... <laughs> I just realized I've been building the, the factories, not the actual O2 producing things. So we don't actually need any of this road or the trucks. Although I guess I could do some nearby because these atmosphere extractors, they cost the mechanical parts and aluminium bars. Now that's just to produce them, not to actually shove them down. Because remember that we are making them there, but we don't actually need to store them. They just go into this. So essentially, if we shove a depot like there, say collect O2, then we can just surround that in atmosphere processors. All right, so basically now the O2 that's being produced here just comes along, gets shoved onto that. Oh, finally. Okay, we do actually, we need to get O2 onto this one somehow though. And I assume I can do that by basically doing the same thing, but over this side. So we got two truck stops, got road in between. We got a depot saying take O2. Surrounded by atmosphere processors. We then got 10 trucks on there taking the O2. Although I'm starting to think maybe 10 trucks was too much. There's a bit of a queue. Yeah, let's reduce to seven. Seven's a nice round number. It really isn't, but just, just trust me on this. All right, and as it says here, the supply is good to both of those. Oh, look, they're like expanding in front of my eyes. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're making way too many resources than they can actually use. Like all these trucks, they're just, they're just stuck waiting. Like come on supply centers, use it up. Anyway, the city is growing. The population is ramping up. Very nice. Uh, so we want to go for an explore of the planet. So we got like a massive crater here. Like what? So you can build, you can build in the middle of it, but like, you can't build in these rocky areas. What? That's weird. Oh, and then the same with these. You can see there's like little hex Mexican places we can build, but not on the main islands, mountains, same thing. So yeah, basically I could do with making a few more supply centers, perhaps. The trouble is I don't know like how close I can get them. So if I shove one there, no, I think I think it's got to be touching the city. So that's doing nothing there. The question is though, does everything... Oh, so everything counts as a city. So all these new buildings, I can literally build right next to them. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, we're about to hit 100 population, which means we've reached level five. So we got polymer, which uses carbon and plastic waste. We've got reinforced concrete, which combines concrete with steel bars. Makes sense. We've got high-tech parts, which is aluminum bars and polymer bars. And then, oh, depot mark two. Oh, that looks useful. That does look useful. Anyway, quite annoying. The supply centers, they no longer need concrete. They only want reinforced concrete. So if we follow this concrete truck all the way back. We need to turn you from a concrete producer into a reinforced concrete producer. And I know I need steel for that. So since there is a load of iron up here, let's make a load of steel bars first. So steel bars are produced there now. Then we can drive them up this way and say take steel bars. So they should end up down here. So we'll just do another depot. So trucks are bringing those down to here. And then I assume, is it just an assembly plant I need? No, it's got to be a factory. It's got to be a factory. There we go. Reinforce concrete. Then I just tell these trucks, no, you're not delivering concrete now. You've been upgraded. You're delivering reinforced concrete. And this depot receives reinforced concrete. So that should mean we're then, we've then sorted that. So yeah, that's reinforced concrete there. The trucks are coming up and taking that away. We follow this road down. Reinforced concrete ends up there. And then yes, we're growing our population once again. And also, we've now got a thousand roads. How far does that get us around the planet? Oh, wow. Oh, it's going like, it's going most of the way. So roads are there. Oh, man, this is like the world's longest road. Oh, but then we've only got 70 roads. Okay, we really need to up our road production. And since I got like 240 extractors, let's go mental with it. Okay, so here we go. We're making some fat roads now. Uh, we're nearly back up to a thousand already. I mean, a few years have passed, but roads take a long time and you can probably see why now. It's all about that concrete. So we'll go from there. We'll keep going down this way. So I've essentially got to end up back here. If we go from there to there, we now have a road that goes around the entire planet. I mean, takes a bit of a scenic route through the... <laughs> through the Antarctic down there. But we did it. We achieved. And not only that, we leveled up to level six, which means we can start terraforming because uh, our aim is to increase the temperature by one degree. It's currently minus 58 degrees Celsius. And if you are American and you don't understand Celsius, uh, that's cold. But yeah, I think with that road done, I think that's a good place to leave this game. Very intrigued to play this. I'm quite interested to see what happens with the actual terraforming. Like, do we see that happen? Like, does the planet actually turn green? 
I don't know. If you want to find out, boost like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and planet-spanning roads. Bye, guys!